Good afternoon. Canada has lost a hockey legend. Henri Richard was the younger brother of Maurice, the Rocket Richard. But it didn't take long for him to become a star in his own right, earning the name the Pocket Rocket. Henri Richard was 84 years old. Kelly Gregg looks back. That's Henry Richard going in on left wing. He manages to elude Magnuson's diving check and shoots the puck over the falling Esposito. He was born a leap year baby, February 29th, 1936. At five foot seven and 160 pounds, Henri Richard was deemed too small to survive in what was a rough and tough NHL at the time. When he showed up at training camp in 1955, it was considered a favor to his famous older brother, the Rocket. It didn't take long for the 19-year-old to prove everyone wrong. My hero was my brother Maurice, and I wanted to do exactly like what he did, play hockey with Montreal Canadiens. That was a dream. Richard soon became a fan favorite because of his speed, stick handling ability, and competitive spirit. Because of his stature, he was nicknamed the Pocket Rocket, but never shied away from dropping the gloves and often dished out as much punishment as he took. Pound for pound, he was probably the best player in the National Hockey League. You know, he's, he was 160, 162 pounds and tough as nail and wasn't scared of anybody and nobody fooled around with him. He was uh, a keg of dynamite. Uh, Henri Richard took, took no prisoners. Uh, he suffered no fools. And if you would get in his face or you gave him any kind of nonsense at all, you would get it right back in spades. In his rookie season, he won his first Stanley Cup championship. It would be the first of five straight, the longest cup run in hockey history. He led the NHL in assists twice, but it was the postseason that separated Richard from everyone else. He played like a man possessed. Henry Richard going in on left wing. Famously scoring the game tying and winning goals in game seven of the 1971 Stanley Cup. And the game is over. The Montreal Canadiens have won the Stanley Cup for a record 16th time. Richard was named captain in 1971 and proudly wore the C for four years. It was one of those things that Henri understood that he didn't need a letter on his jersey for people in the dressing room to understand that he was a leader. But while Maurice became a political symbol to many Quebecers because of the Richard riot outside the Forum in 1955, Henri was happy to keep a much lower profile and focused on the game he adored. Maurice was never going to be able to just be a hockey player. Henri didn't at least have that same kind of figurehead uh, mantle. There wasn't that responsibility on him. But Henri was quiet. He, was, uh, he had a, a wonderful self-deprecating sense of humor. He could poke fun at himself better than anybody. When it was all over, he left the game with a record 11 Stanley Cups, the most ever won by a player, assuring his legendary status alongside his beloved older brother. That was a running gag, and geez, the guy won 11 Stanley Cup, and he deserved to be called Henry. <laughs> On December 10th, 1975, his number 16 was raised to the rafters at the Forum, the number he wore with unparalleled distinction and dedication. In 1979, he was inducted into Hockey's Hall of Fame. Winning 11 Stanley Cup, so nobody will come close. We won't see that anyhow in, in our lifetime. A player thought of as too small who leaves a huge legacy. We had great hockey player, great team, and you know, I was kind of being at the right place at the right time. I say that often, but which is a little true. You know, anywhere else, I don't think I would be able to win uh, 11 Stanley Cup. Kelly Gregg, CTV News.